Hi guys, it's your boy Owen Kenneth and welcome back to my YouTube channel. We are almost at the thousand subscribers and I'm quite happy about that. So today's video is productivity and just talking about how hard it is to be very productive during these times, during COVID-19 and yeah, what I've been going through. First of all, I'm reading this book. Um, yeah. And yeah, let's get into the topic. So. I think on Instagram I saw one of these motivational Instagram motivational pages where they posted like a meme, um, a write up saying that while people are on break, while people are like let's say sleeping and just relaxing, that kind of thing, um, you should take this time to be productive, learn a new skill. If you come out from this break and you don't have a new skill, then you are probably lazy. At first, to be honest with you, I was like, okay, that's reasonable. Um, yeah, you just, we have a lot of time on our hands and we don't know when this will end. So if you're safe, if you're okay, if you're healthy, I mean, why not try and learn something and to make use of your time, right? Then I started seeing some Nigerian CEOs and some influential people in their rights here in Nigeria bashing the quote saying that people should just rest and if you want to rest rest if you want to be productive productive then don't let any instagram motivational person fool you into over stressing right do not stress yourself too much and i was like okay that's cool too like do not stress yourself yeah i also agree with that point but then again i saw a different self-help guru on facebook and he was basically like we should not deceive ourselves, right? People that have made it, people that are in first world countries are telling you do not stress, do not try to um, overkill yourself, don't try to be very productive during this time, are basically just deceiving you because they are well off and they have a better economy than us. And considering the fact that um, Nigeria is in the process of devaluing her currency, I mean, you should be Try very much to be more productive. Do not slack. Like there are a lot of people here suffering and all that kind of stuff. So do not really take this time to like sleep if you have it. Why not work and try to be more productive? And I was like, okay, I agree with this because I feel like that was why I agreed the first time. Because if you look at opportunities and privileges, people that live in the third world or third developing world do not have that much so you have to basically fight times two to get what you want and just basically put your efforts out there and hopefully you get lucky with chance and you get the opportunity you deserve so that was why i agreed with it and for me personally like being productive in this time has been draining i've completed some tutorials which i'm happy with but then again did i really get the knowledge um i just did it like a competition i wanted to finish 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 and not really properly understand what i was learning like i really wanted to learn or i still want to learn programming language python and get very efficient with it then again, I applied for Andela. Andela came up with this SDG challenge. First of all, Andela, I don't know what's wrong with your comms team. It's just mess. And it really frustrated me and I just gave up. I gave up. I left the Facebook page. Like, I'm about to even block them on my email. <laughs> I should tell you how bad it is because I'm like, I don't want anything again to like point or notify me that I haven't signed up for this thing in the first place because. It was so frustrating and with all what is going on, I had a very terrible headache that day and I was like, nah, I give up. I give up like I'm a quitter. <laughs> you know, I don't care if anybody calls me that. But I'm quitting this. Maybe next time they call me something else, I will do it. But for now, I'm like, nah, take a break, watch Netflix, just try to read. And funny enough, this particular book, I've been trying to read for almost two months now and I haven't finished it. Two months for four months and I haven't finished it and I'm just taking one chapter at a time. And the book is very good and I recommend everybody should read it. But what I would say concerning um, productivity during COVID-19, I almost said COVID-19 <laughs> um, because of Buhari. During COVID-19 is what I would say is try to be productive if you can. If you feel stressed out, please relax. Don't kill yourself. But always keep in mind, especially if you live in a very struggling world or society, always have back of your mind that you have to do times two um, the work, your counterparts are doing something else in, in Western world or 
um when you say west of all i feel like when you're some sort of like 1990 something movie like in america stuff where they have a more streamlined economy so with that said um how are you guys finding productivity how are you trying to be productive during this time are you trying to be productive or are you just netflix and chill you know and just live a stress-free life so let me know in the comment section see you guys in my next one bye guys